Alright, here we're going to take a look at graphing and doing a sketch of the graph for y equals negative x squared minus 4x minus 3. First of all, that's a negative, so it's going to open down, so it's going to look like a sad face. So that means that our vertex is actually going to be a maximum. Okay, and now let's find it. So we're going to, we're going to label y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, a is going to be negative 1, b is going to be negative 4, and we're not concerned with c at this point. So, we plug in negative, have negative, and plug in something there, 2, plug in something there. Okay, so we said b was negative 4, so we're going to plug in negative 4. And we said a was negative 1, so let's plug in negative 1. Okay, so here we go. Negative and negative 4, that's a positive 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 4 over negative 2, that is negative 2. So now to find our k, to find k, we set x equal to negative 2. So k is going to equal when x is negative 2. So we're going to plug in to our formula, to our original formula negative something squared minus 4 times something minus 3. Well, we said that k was negative 2, negative 2. So here we have negative 2 squared, which is 4, but apply the negative from right there. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 minus 3. Okay, here we go. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7, plus 8 is 1. So k equals 1. So our vertex is negative 2 and 1. Now let's factor to find our roots. So we're going to take negative x squared minus 4x minus 3. Remember, we, don't, we cannot factor if this is anything other than 1, and we see that's a negative. So we're going to factor that negative out. So we're going to divide everything by negative 1. So that means i got to put a negative 1 on the outside. Negative 1 over negative is x squared. Negative 4 over negative 1 is positive 4x. Negative 3 over negative 1 is positive 3. And now we get to factor this. Okay. So we factor... 3 into 1 and 3, they have to be the same sign, both positive. So plus 1 plus 3, so we have x and x, pair x plus 1, paired with x plus 3, set it equal to 0 because we need to solve for x. Okay, so we have x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. Minus 1 to both sides, so we get x equals negative 1. Minus 3 to both sides, so we get x equals negative 3. So let's go plot our vertex, negative 2, 1, and negative 1 and negative 3 on our graph. Alright, so here we go. We go, we said negative 2 and 1, so we're going to go negative 2, up 1. For the point, we said our x's were negative 3 and negative 1. And then we draw on our line. Okay, so there's our vertex, negative 2, 1, and negative 1, and negative 3 for our roots.